What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Mentor Fan 12, coming to you with another video. And I'm here to discuss um, Nintendo's uh, press conference at E3. And I'm mainly going to talk about the buzz that's, that's surrounding two of their games that's going to be released. One for the 3DS, the other for the Switch. I'm talking about Metroid Prime 4 and um, Metroid Samus Return. And a lot of people are really excited about these two games because we haven't had a um, good Metroid Title 6 Metroid Prime 3 production for the Nintendo Wii. Now, I would say I, I would include Metroid Prime Trilogy in that also. But I'm mainly talking about standalone games right now. Of course, we there was Metroid of Metroid of the End that was released and uh, going into Metroid Prime Trilogy. Now, then there was the um, Metroid Prime Federation Force that was released on the 3DS last year with Richard Tank. So we were, so technically speaking, he was in another um, drought without a good Metroid game in the last 10 years. Now, one thing about Metroid Prime 4 is that I didn't think they was going to release a Metroid Prime 4. I think the main reason people were asking for it because that name is that it's going to be released because fans was asking for it. And I, and I quite truthfully, I didn't think that, that it was going to uh, happen, mainly because of um, the way Metroid Prime re ended with uh, Simon's taking out Dark Simon's, you know. Now, the one thing I did overlook is that there was a ship that was following uh, Simon's after, after she left the the last Fire Rest for I guess for a new bounty and this and whoever it was, it, it was like there was a lot of speculation he was one of the bounty hunters from Metro Prime Hunter but that was released to the uh, DS, you know. But, and but quite honestly I'm glad that we get the um Metro Prime for regardless. There will be a lot of speculation as to the story of Metroid Prime 4 for the plot, you know what I'm saying? But me, I'm thinking that when you first see Samus, she's going she's gonna to be in her own um, in a very soon. She's going to have the uh, charge thing, the missiles, small ball, more ball bomb, and all that. And I'm thinking there's two particular tweets. I'll say three particular cliches that's going to pop up in Metro Prime 4. The first, first one that comes to mind is the um, self destruct sequence. Uh, uh, and if they are going to do that, it just say uh, how they, it's the question of how they're going to implement it. Number two is um, uh, really just coming out of, out of, of nowhere. So the question is, is he is he gonna appear as Omega Ridley or just is he gonna come back in as a regular film? Who knows that at that point? Another speculation that I do have is that um Simon might end up losing some of her uh, equipment and, and weaponry and stuff. So that's an, that's another speculation. That I have. Now, this is something that I hope they that they do, and it's really coming out of Metroid Prime 3. Um, it has to do with the fact that in Metroid Prime 2, Samus, Samus is able to call in the airstrikes with for my gunship. I hope they, I hope they seriously implement that one as, as well. I hope they do. I hope it's done like more than it was in, in uh, Metroid Prime 3. And of course, the necessary spots, you know what I'm saying. Now, with Metroid Time to Return, they actually they do have a um, trailer for it. They, I've seen it. It is really excellent, graphically speaking. 
and I'm and I'm thinking that the any play is gonna be good, the the contract, the story is gonna be good also. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking that the main reason why they releasing the week is by the way, Metro Ray Sanders return is pretty much a remake of San uh, Metro Two Return of Santa. And the reason why they're doing a remake is has to do with a fan, a fan who did their own like take on uh, uh, of Metroid 2 and the Return of Samus, but they ended up shutting that, that game down. You know what I'm saying? I think they have to do, they wanted to protect their IP, but it is kind of like speculating they 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 getting the remix of the 3DS while they were why, when they shut shut it shut down another Metroid remake, so who knows, who, who really knows, you know what I'm saying, so if you want to talk, now with that being said, if you are glad that, that we're getting two Metroid titles in Metroid Prime 4 and Metroid Services in terms of commitment, you can also reach in anything the other games that's being released on the 3DS and the Nintendo Switch, it, albeit uh, like Metro, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, or the Donald, or the DLC for uh, Zelda, the, 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 new, the new Zelda game that came out recently, or any other presentation that was made by Ubisoft, uh, Sony, Microsoft, and all that. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, this is your boy. Take Metro fans, 12 signing off.